Hello everyone, my name is Deadly Dragon, and today I'm going to go over by popular demand how to make a server the updated method for the FTB mod packs over Hamachi. Now, for those of you who think Hamachi is a virus, it is not a virus, it is managed by a very reputable company. And it has been proven time and time again that it does work and it isn't a virus. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and decide what mod pack we're going to use. You, you're going to go up to this link, I'll put a card up so even the tablets and phones can still look at this link. It's going to be www.feedthebeast.com slash modpacks, and it'll be under this servers here. We're going to download servers, it'll bring you to the mod packs. And then all you have to do is go to your mod pack of choice. So, after that, you're going to go to the server download down here on the left hand side. You're going to usually want to pick the green one because that's the most up to date. Um, well, most stable, correction, not most up to date. The most up to date would be 1.6, but we're going with 1.5. I've already downloaded it, so we're going to go ahead and create a folder here. I always recommend creating a folder somewhere, maybe if you have multiple hard drives, I wouldn't recommend putting it on the hard drive you're going to be playing on, because then it causes more stress for the CPU. So you have, a, you, you don't have to have another server, or I'm sorry, you don't have to have another hard drive for this to actually work, but it is more recommended. That way you're not running your server off of your C drive and playing off of your C drive at the same time, that can be quite of a hassle to your CPU even if you have an SSD. So we're going to name this server tutorial and then we're going to go ahead and go to our downloads here and show in folder and we're going to extract our files And we're going to extract it here. Okay. I'm using WinRAR to extract my files as well, by the way. So you're just going to wait for all that to extract. And then here's what you're going to do. You want to make sure you have the most up-to-date Java, of course. And then you're going to notice FTB install.bat and server start.bat. You're going to want to click on the FTB install.bat first. Allow it to run. It'll download some files for you. And then that's done. FTB is configured to work. Your next up, you're going to want to go to this eula.txt file. And I'm going to edit it with Notepad++. You can edit it with something else, but this is just a nicer way of looking at it. You're going to see eula equals false. This is called a Boolean string, which is just true or false. You're going to, want to change that from false to true, control S to save. And we can get rid of that. Next up, you're going to want to start your server. For the very first time, you're going to get your command prompt here, and it's going to basically create a dummy world. You're going to want to create a world with your own um, settings and such, of course, but this is just to get you started. Just start the server before you do any config or anything else like that. Now it's preparing our spawn area, basically generating some of the spawn area terrain. Okay, it appears that our server has officially loaded all the files, so what you're going to type in here is you're just going to click type in stop. That is the proper way to shut down your server, and then it's going to say press any key to continue, and it's going to close down. Next up, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your server.properties file. In here, there's a bunch of stuff that you don't really need to worry about. But there is one thing that you do need to worry about, and that's your server IP address. Now, for those of you who have Hamachi, you're going to launch Hamachi, and in the very top, you're going to see an IP address. Obviously, I'm not going to show that on screen, but you're going to type in your IP address right to the right of the power button. For example, it'll be like 12.34.567.0. 890. That's roughly what an IP address would look like. So 
567.890. That would be a valid IP address to put in. You're going to put in your IP address here because that's the port, that's the IP that is going to forward all the server data to, and that's the, that's how everyone else is going to be able to join you. Next, you're going to, if you want, set a, a whitelist, although whenever you're doing Hamachi in the first place, you, it's pretty much its own whitelist because you're going to add a password of your own, you're going to have a name of your own. It's something you don't really have to worry about, but just in case, if someone does get it, a hold of your information, it's always nice to be able to have that whitelist option. And also, you can see that there's a couple other settings in here, like your difficulty setting, your command block setting, game mode, uh, idle timeout, the maximum players. I genu generally set this to how many people I'm going to be playing with at the time. And then you have the message of the day, so you can set this to whatever you want, like, this is just a test. And then spawn monsters, stuff like that, generator settings, OP permissions, allow another level name. You want to change this to whatever you want so it generates a new world. So I'm just going to say same thing. This is just a test. And level type. I would recommend setting this to biomes OP. That's the biomes of plenty um, level generator tag. And then also you're going to enable the level seed. So this is genuinely whatever you want. This is not a test. Wait a minute. This is just a test. There we go. That's genuinely what I'm going to be setting this whole thing for. Um, game mode, you can set that to whatever you want. Um, but after that, you can go ahead and control S to save. And that is done. And all the other config files are in here for each individual mod. Say if you want to disable some things or enable some extra settings. But we're not going to mess with that. That's going to be on your own end. Now, finally, our final step is either go into your whitelist and set some things up. Or just do the server start dot bat. That is going to be your basically your um that exe to start it and there's another trick that i could show you here really quick if you want you can make this a clickable link that we're just going to create a shortcut to and you can even um change the logo here so server start and now that's a clickable link that will just automatically start your server up. No worries, nothing at all. And if you wanted to change the logo or whatever you want, then um, you can go into, I think it's in under, it's under options. Ah, it's under shortcut and you're gonna go to change icon. And you're going to specify, basically, it, that looks kind of like a server. Apply. Okay. So now, that's the logo for your server start, and you can click on that, and it'll run this. And it appears we had an error whenever we did that. I'm not quite sure what the error was, but let's go ahead and run it once again, maybe. I just made a mistake somewhere. But we'll see. Okay, so it appears I have discovered what I was having an issue with. Um, you have to make sure that the server.properties is the right IP address. So I just entered that information in, but now it is official. Our server is up and running, and you will want to op yourself. So just go ahead and make yourself an op on your own server, or anyone else that you want to be part of op the op registry area and then you're going to want to of course launch feed the beast launcher then you're going to want to launch your game this is mainly just to test that your server is indeed working okay now that we are indeed loaded up everything here is our server 
you're going to do add server, name it your server, add your IP address so you can see that it's up and running. And then we're just going to go ahead and join it. And you did notice that the message of the day was this is just a test. So as we load into the world, we will see that we are indeed on our own multiplayer server that we have started over Hamachi. Your friends will be able to join this once you give them the login information for Hamachi and the IP ad and your IP address. Once you do that, you'll notice that, oh, here we are. There we go. Sorry about the lag as I am doing what I shouldn't be doing and running the game and playing it off of the same location, which is never a good idea as it will result in lower frames and if you're trying to record it'll result in poor gameplay for the other people on your server. So without further ado, friends, this has been how to make a Hamachi server the updated version of course so i hope that this has helped you if you need any help please let me know in the comments i will be sure to message you as need be but otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video